We have had a fascinating day so far. A few highlights from me. We started with a keynote speech from Dr. David Nabarro, who really put food system change in context. He highlighted the need for collaboration and making connections and for really exploring how we create the conditions needed for change. Our first session focused on the dual burden of hunger and obesity. We heard from Dr. Varney of Birmingham and from Mr. Aurora of Rajkot in India. And they spoke about the need for uh, infrastructure, planning within cities to do things like making physical activity more accessible, reducing the amount of junk food outlets that there were. In our second session, we looked at the role of city leadership in creating food system transformation. Dr. Tinashe Mushianiyama from Johannesburg highlighted that food is a cross-department issue and that to really create change, you need decisions around food and food security to be in a, a high uh, office, a high department within a local government so that they have the authority to create the interventions uh, needed to, to drive change. He also spoke about the uh, increase in urban organic farming and the need to value and preserve indigenous elder knowledge around food in places. In the final session of the morning, we heard from both Durban and Bangladesh who have faced catastrophic flooding within their localities. Durban spoke about the need to upgrade their infrastructure to deal with these flooding events, uh, localizing production and also creating strategy. Uh, and in Bangladesh, where flooding is really common um, and has been for many years, um, our delegates spoke about how the cities have uh, an early warning system that citizens know how to react to. And as well, they spoke about localizing food production. We also heard from Namibia, from Windhoek, um, and they had the very opposite challenge of uh, a dry climate. And they spoke about water management systems, again, about localizing food production. Um, so it's really interesting to see how these cities across the world, even though they're facing different environments, have very similar challenges and often very similar solutions. Really interesting day so far.